Hi, I'm Matthew Metcalf, the Product Manager for Anterior Segment Lasers for Lumabird Medical. And I'm here in Milan at the ESCRS to introduce to you our latest YAG SLT product from LX, the Tango Reflex Neo. This laser includes second generation reflex technology, giving us coaxial and titratable illumination. So we have a brilliant red reflex all the way to a dark background. So we can have spatial integrity and also good contrast of all ocular tissues. A new feature with this system is the imprint heads up display. And that's a neat feature. It is a, a discrete view of the mode and the energy setting, uh, which is in the right eyepiece. The doctor can adjust the energy up and down and see real time changes through the eyepiece so that they can always be maintaining their focus or their concentration on the patient. As well as the heads up display, the system includes a smart joystick which contains two switches, the traditional firing switch, but also a second horizontal switch for increasing and decreasing energy levels, which we can see real time through the imprint heads up display. Most lasers on the market use a passive cooling technology, whereas we actively cool our cavity by having a fan integrated into the slit lamp. And because of the stability and repeatability of this laser, we can fire up to four hertz, or four times per second. So if you think about that, it's 240 beats per minute. The laser will never overheat. Uh, so the, the user interface is a very intuitive touchscreen interface. It is a 10.1 inch capacitive touchscreen. It is a Windows operating system, and it includes DICOM capability so that we can import patient files um, and we can export treatment results. We also have a service feature included in, in this where we can network remotely to be made aware of problems that your laser may be encountering and be proactive with our service of your system. In addition to a typical uh, plus and minus 500 micron offset, we've now included a one millimeter and a two millimeter detent into our offset range so that you can treat posterior capsulotomy from a far more posterior point in the vitreous. Uh, we have treatment guidelines which have been developed for us in, in uh, cooperation with Dr. Karl Brasser in Germany. And with this 2mm offset, we believe that we can produce a much cleaner capsulotomy, um, iatrogenic floater free, and with no damage to IOL. Mm -hmm.